did you pick it, pick up singing from from your dad, or, or was, was your gift just natural? Um, if my dad tell were to tell it, he would say it was natural because he said right away when he started to hear me sing around the house, he was like, "Yeah, she can sing. She's going to be a singer." And he also had a bar that he was running here in Waterloo and he would bring home all of these vinyl records. So like Tina Marie, Diana Ross, who I'm obsessed with, <laughs> um, Stevie Wonder, like everybody. He would bring these records home and I would go in the basement and I would play them and I would try to memorize every lyric, every inflection, uh -huh. every run, everything that like Tina Marie or Diana Ross would do. I would do that for hours. And it's so nice being in a family who enjoys music because mm -hmm. if they did not, I would have driven my parents crazy. Oh. Like everyone, <laughs> everyone in loves music. And so my mom would let me be down in the basement for hours um, is either playing Barbies or um, singing with Diana Ross. Like that's all I would do. Oh, and I, and I guess that's it. I mean, but was there part of your dad to teach you then? Because I don't know. I don't play instruments and stuff. So I don't know as a parent then, does he think, oh, okay, let me help you and play with you and nurture the voice? He did when he realized it was something that I really wanted to do. Um, the more time I spent, like he never forced us to do anything. He wasn't that type of parent. Either one of my parents were like that, like, you know, go down there and practice and, <laughs> you know, critiquing us. It was like organic. Mm. It was like, see where it goes. Um, for my mom, she just liked us to be involved in things. So we were all in gymnastics, played basketball. I was in ballet, which was hilarious. <laughs> and track, like she, they kept us busy, but my go-to was always singing. So after a while, my dad was like, um, he would sit in the basement with me and then go over certain notes. Or if I was struggling with a note or a run, he would teach me how to push that note out. And, um, then he started having or like telling people in the in the community like oh i have this daughter you want her to come sing at your church <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like what are you doing i don't want to sing at people's churches and i end up doing like weddings when i was eight nine years old wow. <laughs> it was hilarious um yeah he was just all of a sudden like promoting me through the town of saying, hey, I have this daughter, you guys got to hear her sing. And then I would be like, okay. And I would just sing for people. Um, but yeah, it'd be church functions, someone having a little party or a gathering and <laughs> show up and sing. And yeah. Would you get paid it was, for it or was, was it just a freebie or? I wasn't getting paid. No. Okay. It was free. <laughs> Uh, but was and, it more so for him to try and get you to be confident singing and in, in, in front of others? Or what was the, the the motive behind that? I think I think it was more he was just really proud. My dad was mm. that parent that was so proud of his kids yeah. that if we excelled at something or had some type of talent, he would just like to he wanted everyone to know how proud he was okay. of his kids. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was very sweet, very cute. Um, but we didn't, it's not like we knew that was preparing me to get on Star Search or mm -hmm. even Record Deal. Those were dreams, but being a girl from Iowa and being a, a, a girl of color from Iowa, yeah, I was, you know, I would be like, yeah, I'm going to do this and that. And then I was just like, girl, you are in Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> You're going nowhere right now. So, <laughs> so for those who, who are watching from around the world, you, you, you know, everyone is thinking, well, either you're in New York or in L.A. 
the Midwest pretty much, the, you know, we, now we talk about, people talk about Atlanta, but back in the day, you know, it was pretty much New York, LA. So being in the Midwest, you know, it, it's pretty much yeah, far from anything. So I, I can imagine how far that dream might yeah. seem, you know, like Dorothy in Kansas, it just seems so far away from, from everything. Absolutely. I felt like Dorothy in Kansas. I was <laughs> like, unless a tornado hits, I ain't getting out of here. <laughs> But then it's not gonna happen. What instrument did your dad play? Um, he could play the drums, but he was all about being a vocalist. That was Oh, so it wasn't like he played the keyboard or guitar and you'd sing with no. him. He was the he was the lead singer of his band and yeah, that was that was his thing. Did yeah. you ever sing with the band? Did I? Yeah. With his did band? Ever... No. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, um, because when he started doing, when he was doing that, I wasn't even born. Um, and by the time I was born, it was very late in the game. I was the very last one to show up. <laughs> and they're like, oh, there's another one. Like, great. <laughs> I mean, my mom kept saying she wanted four kids. Okay. But my other siblings are closer in age. And then... Um, it, she was be she was hopeful that she was going to get her fourth, and she did. Oh. But by the time um, I was born, it was becoming harder for my dad to just be on the road because my mom was working in a hospital and a uh, raising three kids. Mm -hmm. um, so he started doing that less and less, um, and then tried to work regular jobs. And uh -huh. that's very tough for musicians because mm -hmm. that's been his, you know, his whole life was surrounded by music. So that's when him and my mom kind of talked about, hey, what if, when I get into the bar business, then I can have, still be a part of that life and have people come down and perform and be in that environment. Because my dad's just very, he's a social butterfly. <laughs> he, he's got to be like, you know. He's that guy. So, <laughs> so that worked out for him. He loved doing that. And so, yeah, he would, I would go down to the bar though. And as a little girl and help him clean it. And then I would sing around the bar when there was nobody there, obviously. Um, and I loved it. I loved that my dad had a bar yeah. and that there were records and I loved the smell of a bar. <laughs> I, energy of it I was just like this is awesome it was pretty cool but then, I mean with all that going on did you did was there anyone who had made it um, you know other than Michael Jackson that you could look up to and says well they've made it I've got somebody to to sort of you know as a as a sense of well if she could have made it I could make it was there anyone that's, you know, like yourself, that's not in the music industry as a, as a child, as a, that you could look to as inspiration? Um, funny enough, there weren't really a lot of, you know, outside of Michael Jackson, who started really young that I obviously admired and looked up to. For me, I was very much into old Hollywood stuff. So pictures I would look at or people that I would emulate at home and movies I would watch were everything from Marilyn Monroe to um, Josephine Baker. Oh. Um, I was, was inspired by those type of women because they, not, not just the physical beauty of them, but, all the obstacles that they had to overcome mm. and they were such strong women. And I was just like, I'm going to be like, you know, Josephine Baker, I'm going to be like these women. I loved Billie Holiday and um, Diane Ross. Yeah. Like I said, I was obsessed with her that when I would come home from school, I would take my hair out of braids and I would be in the mirror. And the bigger my hair was, I was like, this is, <laughs> I want to be like her. And I would have my, and my dad had bought me a microphone and I would be down there and like my mom's, you know, like an, it could be an oversized black shirt and I would make it into a dress 
and I was like singing Diana Ross. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, absolutely obsessed with, with those women. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to be like them. I never participated in that kind of thing. I somewhere in between. Or even loving us on which I didn't miss you. Uh, really it's it's like growing up. It is a I love all different jobs.